Another West Michigan school district will switch to all remote learning because of COVID-19. News 8's John Donald is in studio control now with that and where things stand with other outbreaks at schools. John. Casey, Teresa, Grant Middle and High School will learn remotely for two weeks, and that starts today. The school system says there are currently four staff members and seven students who have tested positive. All seven students attend the middle and high schools, and the staff members don't work in the school buildings. Elementary school students will continue to learn in person. Other districts in our area have made similar decisions after recent outbreaks, with the state defining an outbreak as any school with two or more COVID-19 cases that may have shared exposure on school grounds and are from different households. Those numbers are updated every Monday, so we expect a change around 3 p.m. today. And all students will return to in-person learning. Uh, that's at the Grant Middle and High Schools on October 9th. In studio control, John Dommel, News 8. Today it's John Donald's in the newsroom now with what we know about this most recent investigation. John. Teresa Casey, this latest shooting happened on the city's southwest side where police say someone shot and killed a man in his vehicle. The scene was at Underhill and Curve Street and the set of circumstances that led up to the shooting are not clear. No suspect is in custody and police haven't released any details about one just yet. And this map shows us the location of most of the gun related incidents in Grand Rapids within the last two weeks. And as you can see, a lot of them happened on the southeast side, but they are really scattered all over the area. City and community leaders have said the hike in shooting related incidents has to do with a lack of funding and an understimulated youth population. And the last time that Grand Rapids police officers were uh, investigating this high of a number of homicides, you'd have to go back to 1993 when the city had uh, quite a bit of street gangs and problems related to that. And we'll of course keep you updated with this current homicide, the 26th in the city as details come forward here. Reporting live in the newsroom, John Dommel, News 8.